Hi everyone. I am Ritesh Agarwal, founder and CEO of Oyo. I hope all of you are taking care of yourselves and your loved ones in these really tough times. I am reaching out to all of you to be able to give you an update of the impact brought by coronavirus on Oyo and its stakeholders. Every business, industry and consumer brand are already facing and seeing the impact brought by coronavirus. Let me begin by talking about the health impact brought by coronavirus on oyopreneurs across the world. At this point of time, the oyopreneurs who have been tested positive from the coronavirus infections are less than 10. At the same time, there is significant amount of effort being taken by oyopreneurs and their near and dear ones so that they can protect themselves in these really tough times. Having said that, among these 10 oyopreneurs who have been tested positive with the coronavirus, I would like to share an update with you that a few of them have already recovered, including oyopreneurs from China, Brazil in Latin America, and others. They have demonstrated fantastic tenacity to be able to fight the impact of coronavirus all the other oyopreneurs will improve their health conditions. I am confident about it. The economic impact brought by coronavirus is dramatic and has impacted every industry I can imagine. However, I cannot imagine any other industry that is worse affected from our industries of travel, tourism and hospitality. A lot of you may remember my town hall in which we discussed about the impact on OYO being a 10 to 15% revenue or occupancy drop worldwide. As we speak now, the situation has continued to worsen over the last few weeks. At the latest, the revenues of OYO and the occupancies have dropped by over 50 to 60%. When I look at it at the industry benchmarks, the global leading hotel chains have all dropped their revenues by over 75% and continue to get worse. The response to these kind of significant impact on the hospitality industry and specifically to OYO by means of our OYOpreneurs has been creative, brave and extremely well thought. Our OYOpreneurs in India have made sure that they have reached out to state government, national government, hospitals and ensured that they are constantly able to bring new kind of innovative measures by means of isolation rooms, helping stranded foreign travelers, helping domestic standard travelers, and ensuring that each one of these people get a safe, good quality place at the right price without being worried about being stranded or not getting a safe place during the period of coronavirus. In the same manner, United States, UK, Malaysia, Brazil, Mexico, Europe, every country and region across the world has put its step forward to make sure that they do right for the NHS workers, for the frontliners in the US and more. I commend all of the oyopreneurs for the great effort to do right by the society and the communities we serve in these really testing times and times in which we are expected to stand up. Oyopreneurs have voluntarily work together with each other and have also come together for setting up an OYO welfare fund for their partners, the partner staff, OYOpreneurs and various stakeholders around OYO. I and my leadership team have been on the ball constantly reviewing and ensuring that we make the right decisions by reviewing every little detail of the business. In that context, what we have seen is that because of the significant revenue drop of 50 to 60 percent, the company's balance sheet runway has come under severe stress. This meant to ensure that we immediately look at every controllable costs and reduce them. As a part of which, every forward-looking capex, m &As, or even something as little as every non-essential travel and new expenditures were paused a little over a month back. Right after that, I have decided 
that I will forego all my salary for the balance of the year. My leadership team has also decided to take pay cuts of a minimum of 25% and some of them have voluntarily reached out to me to take cuts upwards of 50% as well. As you all know, this situation of COVID-19 comes at a very unique time for oil. This is right after we had a sizable restructuring of our company in January of this year. Due to that, I want to clarify for all of you that we intend to do no or negligible layoffs as a part of cost restructuring across the world. At the same time, it is important for me and our leadership team to ensure that we make the right decisions required for the long-term success as well as what is right for the long-term cash runway for the company. Given that, significant number of oilpreneurs across the world are being placed on temporary leaves or furloughs of a minimum of 60 to 90 days. And the details of this will be made available from HR teams of your respective countries. It is incredibly important to us that healthcare and Medicare for all the oilpreneurs are very well looked at and hence all the benefits of healthcare and Medicare for the impacted oilpreneurs on leaves or furloughs will continue. But that said, I also want to reiterate to all of you that I am and all my leaders are fully committed in order to ensure that we not only continue to fight in these tough times, we also see through the other side when the world comes back. We don't just see through them, we come out a stronger company. There is some positive news as well. Oyo China has seen occupancy rise by 5% week on week for the last few weeks. Oyo Vacations Homes business of Dance Center in Denmark has seen its bookings losses reduce. And at the same time, we have seen Japan being resisted. I hope these are trends which lead us to days where things do get better. I'm confident that Oyo will emerge stronger and more resilient than ever before outside of this crisis. Until then, I want to thank everyone who has contributed to the success of Oyo and pray for each one of you, your families, and wish for the best. Thank you so much.